Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts and I'm just trying to get my computer to cooperate. It's being weird today. So I just just give me a second and you can look at the sneak peek of the card we're making today. I actually made the card ahead of time so that I would know how to make it properly. And you know me, I don't usually do that. It's Friday. I'm here at four o'clock because I had another something I had to do earlier. All right. Oh, darn. I got it and then almost there. found myself. All right, we're ready to go. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Manik. Okay, so today we're making a really cool card. It's not an original idea to me. I saw it on YouTube by a demonstrator named Rachel Tessman. She's awesome to follow. And she used the snowflake um, set and it was beautiful, but I'm not quite ready to go into snowflakes. So I'm going to use continue working on fall. So I actually made the card ahead of time because it's a fun fold and I wanted to make sure that I didn't mess it up on screen. So here's what the card looks like. I've used the plaids for this one and for this one we're going to use the gilded autumn specialty designer series paper. This card has a real wow factor. So you can see I've even added a little acorn because this card is so thick that I figure you're going to need to add extra postage anyway. So let's put the cute little acorn on. These acorns are brass, no copper, copper. And they're quite, a, like they're quite substantial. They're really, really cute. I don't know if you can, yeah, I guess you can see it pretty well. And this card has a belly band and a belly band is just something that holds your card together and then you slide it off. So here's how the card opens. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to hopefully recreate this for you and we're going to use different paper. So it folds back up and then the belly band goes around it. But I'm going to leave it open because I might need to look back on it for measurements or for just to see exactly how I'm supposed to put it together and then I did the little belly band season of thanks um, and s all different leaves so we're using the stitched leaves dies as well as the one the gather together leaves from last year they were a carryover this is a new set in the catalog all right so it's got really different measurements today. We're only doing one card because it could take me a while to recreate this. Our paper is five and a half by 11. So for this one, I used Bumblebee. Um, for this one, I'm using Very Vanilla and it's the thick Very Vanilla. So we are gonna score. So I'm taking my scoring tool. If you don't have one of these, you can score using your paper cutter. I just find it so much easier on this using my scoring tool. So we're scoring at five and a half and then at this end we're scoring at one and three quarters and at this end one and a quarter. So I'm just going to go back to nine and three quarters. So three score marks. One and three quarters, five and a half, nine and three quarters. I'll put the measurements up. Like I said, I did not um, come up with this card. It was Rachel and actually someone had sent her a card using this technique and she decided to recreate it. All right, so now we have our card base. We're going to fold it in half. 
well it's actually not in half we're going to fold it at the five and a half mark and then your bigger piece because this one is one and three quarter and this one is one and one quarter hi shannon oh yes i think your principal will for sure so we're going to fold this one back this way kind of like when i do my z fold cards and we're going to fold this one the same way and if you don't have a bone folder make sure you get one because it makes your um, folds nice and crisp so this is how it's going to look you can see let's look back at mine I'm gonna keep checking back to make I've only made one so to make sure I'm doing it properly so you can see how that does not look right Okay, just a second. Good thing I'd made one beforehand. Let me check that again. Oops, I did five and I did five and a quarter, and it was supposed to be five and a half. Good thing there's a lot of designer series paper on this one to cover it all up. One and three quarters and one and a quarter okay i think we're good oh you know me usually do something wrong well not usually but it's a good thing i at least made one ahead of time that's all i'm saying there's going to be paper covering that up so i'm not really worried about it okay let's check again perfect all right so for my papers, I've cut them, I've left them at five and a half, so they're going to go right up to the top. This one's going to go here, and we're going to alternate. So I need to remember which one has the one inch ones. So the one with the two one inch ones. So out of one paper, I have two coordinating papers. Out of one paper, I have a five by three and a half and then a one inch by three and a half, and another one inch by three and a half. So paper number one has three pieces. Paper number two has two pieces, three and a half by five and a half, and if I said five, that was wrong, and one and a half and five and a half. So this one, so the little one inch one, it's kind of easy to tell because there's only one place to put the one inch ones, here and here. And then this one goes here. That doesn't look right. One and a quarter. Well, it's just gonna have to do. All right, so. Hmm. Give me a second. This one should be one and a half. And I made mine one and a quarter. So I have a little extra piece here. I'll just grab my cutting board. I may as well have just done it all with you. So it's five and a half, that much I know. and one and a half. May as well make it properly. Okay, that should work. Yeah, that's better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the back of all my little pieces. I have some extra ones here, so I don't wanna get mixed up. And when I was making my other one, I put the paper on the actual wrong, the glue on the wrong side of the paper. I cannot believe I did that. That's not what I need. All right. So we're going to start. I found it easier last time to put glue on the back of everything and then put it on. Having said that, I was getting stuff stuck on each other because you know how sticky this paper is, or not the paper, the stamp and seal. So let's see if I can do it properly this time. It's probably gonna take me the whole time to just do one card. We got that one, that one, that one. 
This is our one inch piece, so we have two of this same paper. And you can tell actually because it has the design on the back. Okay, we just have to make sure that they don't end up on top of each other. All right, one more. It actually comes together pretty quickly, believe it or not. So we know this one has to go here because this is the piece that is a little bit wider. So let's go ahead and put that one on. And then these ones go here. Now there isn't right side up for these ones. Oh, geez, it's very sticky. There and here. Just looking to see which is up. You can see this branch going up. However, the branches are going every which way, so. I did notice when I was doing it that not all the papers cut exactly as I thought. So I was going back and trimming them. I don't know why that is. Just a little smidgen, but I'm a little bit fussy when it comes to that. So, this one gets this one. So we want them alternating. So we have this one, this one, and so next we want this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up. Okay, I could have tucked it a little bit more, so there, we're good to go. And then this one is going to go in here. Or you could leave that for your message. <laughs> I'm not leaving any space for messages. You have to write on the back for this one. Is that right? Yep. Okay, so we're good to go. All right, so there we go. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Okay, so now I've got my inside piece, a mint macaron. There you go, Shannon, take a drink. Um, so what I want to do, I had a couple of ideas. I was going to try to put, with hers, the set she used, she was able to put the sentiment right in the middle here, but the leaf is not quite big enough. I'm going to save this one for the front, but I am going to put a little sliver of paper underneath. Just deciding which one. I think that one's going to look better than this one. All right, so I'm just going to flip it over. I could use the paper cutter, but I'm being lazy. So the good thing about this is these are going to be kind of forced down. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue. You're not going to see this piece from the other side. So just put in a little bit of glue. And if you have too much glue, it doesn't matter because it's getting glued down anyways. And I'm just making sure I'm covering up that I can't see any of the pieces of the leaf. And then when you flip it over, there we go. It's not pretty. So let's go ahead and put this piece on. For the mint macaron, too cute, Shannon. I've embossed it using the Subtles embossing folder. The one in the other card, I used the Tasteful Textile embossing folder. Okay, we're good to go. I figured it out. All right, so inside I want to put my little sentiment with a grateful heart. I'm just going to put this flat because it's on the inside of the card. We don't really want to pop it up. And then I'm going to grab my little container of leaves that I have here. And I want to pull some gold, so I definitely want to have some gold. Now I'm kind of designing both of them. This is going to be for the front. This is going to be, I just need really two here. So here's a little gold one. And I could always put a little regular color, but 
Having said that, if I was going to do that, that's too big. Gold and, oh, we have copper. So maybe a gold, no, that's too big. Okay, we're going to go with these two. And then on the front, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have a very vanilla and a copper. Okay, I don't like having the same leaf. Let's try that. All right, I'll play around with that. I guess it doesn't matter if I have the same leaf. Uh, copper, okay. So let's continue on with this. I'm just gonna use glue dots to adhere the leaf. I could actually just run some snail, but. Actually want it a bit lower. Hi Lisa. Okay, so there's the inside. And I'm not putting any ribbon or anything, Barb, yet because it's the inside of the card and it'll make it really bulky. And I think it looks fine just like that. You could put a little acorn or something, but I don't know. And it's all glitzy and stuff. It's not really acorny. I'm sure acorny is a word. All right, so the last thing we have to do is our belly band. So I have a piece of nine and a half by one and a quarter. I've gone with mint macaron to match this. On this card I used um, mango melody. There's so many colors you could coordinate with the plaids, um, but I liked the mango melody. It's a nice bright color and that's what I went with on the inside of this card as well. So for your belly band you simply take it, wrap it around your card, you just use your fingers to wrap it around your card. You want your closure to be in the back. You could put it in the front and then have your leaves hide it, but I like to put it in the back. And then what I do, now don't make it too tight because it'd be too hard to get on and off your card. So I just put some of this amazing adhesive here. I line it up and then I back it off just a tad. By that I mean not pull it really tight, but give it a little bit of room. because you want to be able to get it off your card without ruining your card. Okay, next I have this little piece. This one is done from the Ornate um, Borders dies. It's a great size one, long and skinny. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. I went ahead and stamped the image using Mint Macaron ink. And the Season of Thanks is from the Gather Together. And the inside sentiment is from this one, Banner Year with a Grateful Heart. This is a great set. Don't you love this? Happy fall, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. It goes with punches that I didn't get. Um, okay, Teresa, you like the acorn? We might put it back on. I did kind of too, but I wasn't sure if it was fancy enough. Oh, I know what I can do. <gasps> Give me an idea. Did we put an acorn in here? We definitely will go back and put an acorn in here because we have an acorn on the front. And we have the gold acorns. That's what we're gonna do. So we have our mint macaron. Whatever, I have to do some research and see what leaves these are. So let's decide what we wanna do. I did kind of like the... Okay, that might be good. Or the bra, or the copper, I don't know. The other, other metallic is what I'm starting to say. Um, now I kind of like the very vanilla. Just seeing if I have this in a different color or maybe, I just like using different types of leaves. Yeah, it needs three different types of leaves. And then we're gonna put a bow right here because Barb will be sad if we don't. 
Okay, so I know I can put a little bit of glue here and here. I could use glue dots as well. I'm being careful not to go over my greeting and put it as far to the right hand side as you can. Then for these I'm going to use glue dots. Actually, yeah, that's good. And for whatever reason, I like to kind of have the stems at the same spot. Now this one or this one? Yeah, it needs to be the brighter one, I think. So for this one, I can put the glue dot right in the middle. They don't pick up really well on the foil. Oh, that's fine. All right, before I go further, I'm taking my little tray because I do have a little acorn that is copper. So let's just pop this off for a second and put it on. Good call, Teresa. Oh yeah, that's cute. We'll go back and put one on this one as well. Sometimes when you're putting your card in, you have to just bend it slightly to get it to slide. Okay, so these ones for another card another day. And a bow. All right, bow choices. So we do have our copper and we also have mint macaron. Oh, Shannon, I'm gonna laugh every time I say that. Oh, here's one that's open. But it might be a bit big. Let me tie one and see. It's quite a wide ribbon. But we will see. I have been surprised before. It does tie really nice bows though. So even though it is thick, it is a very nice ribbon. You'll know if you buy cheap ribbons at different outlet stores, it's not as nice. Plus, you can never find a ribbon that matches that completely. Oh, that's actually pretty. All right, that's ribbon number one. And I'll do this one, and you guys can let me know which one you like better, and then I'm gonna go add an acorn to the other card. Thanks, Minnick. It's such a pretty, it was such a pretty design. Now, it does take the better part of a piece of cardstock for each card. I will post the measurements. Like I said, I did not come up with this idea. I'll put Rachel's information. And you could go watch her video and see her um, snowflake one. It's incredible. Because the snowflake paper is to die for. And she has one that she's done in um, purples. So that one or that one. Okay, so bow one or bow two. You guys vote, and while you're voting, I am going to go to this card and add a little acorn inside. That little acorn is sitting right up here. I might get one of the gold ones. Yep, 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 needs a gold one. Bow two. Okay, so we have one vote for bow two. I'm kind of going with bow two as well. This one's a bit bulky. Isn't that cute? You know what would be cute? Okay, hold tight. The dog punch has this cute little heart. So I just need to find a scrap. And I'm gonna punch out two little hearts. Oh, some bling, yes, some bling. Okay, so I'm gonna add this little heart. So that was the dog punch. There's heart, other hearts, oops, that didn't stick. There are other hearts in other sets, but that one's the easiest one to grab. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. That looks pretty. Let's add some bling to the front. I did, actually, I have the bling right here. I just forgot. Bow two, bow two, some blin, mint macadal. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Stacy. Manic one, two. Oh, it's kind of a toss up. Let's go ahead and put the little heart in. So, bow two, bow two, bow one. Bow two, bow one. Oh well, you can't go wrong with either one then. Okay, so with a grateful heart, just add that little heart. Man, you can add as much stuff as you want to this, but... Let's see. You know what? I'm going to add this one because I have more of this ribbon. <laughs> That's going to be my deciding factor today. But really, they're both really pretty. I think on her video she called it a fun flap card. Now we gotta be careful we don't cover up the greeting. I mean, even if you picked bow two, I'm sure you would agree that bow one looks pretty. All right, and I'm not gonna add an acorn to this one. I don't know why, oh, bling, 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 bling. Yeah, the hearts are cute. Like I said, there's other die cuts and stuff that have hearts, but those ones are a really nice size. So I'm using these gold gems. I could use the gilded ones too because they're more of a copper, are they copper? And would match this, but it's got gold and copper, so I think I'm good using either one. And this card is not a blingy card, it's more um, plaid. Let's go with plaid but it still looks pretty. Can never have too much bling. Wonder if two, are these the same size? No, no, changed my mind. All right, <laughs> it's a great bow, thanks Teresa. All right, so that's our fun fold card for today. Here I've used the plaid paper uh, we used it yesterday and I showed you this one we used the Gilded Autumn and the plaid one has so many colors if I can find it I wasn't going to get it at first as I mentioned yesterday because some of the plaids I wasn't crazy about but there's enough of them in there that I like and it coordinates with all these different colors so we can use it for winter we can use it for christmas we can use it for halloween or just black and white if you like um monotone black and white cards and that's only half of them the other ones are on the back so today i use this one and this one so finding two that coordinate is pretty easy actually and also you could coordinate it with another um set of papers and then this is the gilded autumn and I'm already on to my second pack of this paper it is so pretty so I use this one and this one and they're very complimentary I didn't want the busyness of these ones anyways those ones look, look good all right so season of thanks a little fun fold as I said you could have left this blank for the greeting that would have been smart actually but I would just add a little decorative piece to the back something like that and then they can do their greeting on the back it's already so heavy not heavy thick that um, I think I don't think it matters if you add another layer is what I was gonna say all right we could have probably we could have tried this one too anyways so many bow bows so many choices so but I love this little pine cone. Thank you for joining me today. I will, tomorrow I won't be here, but I will be here on Sunday at seven. So Monday to Friday, I come on live at three, and then Sundays I come on at seven. I do appreciate you liking, sharing. Give me a thumbs up if you like this card, these cards, and I will um, add in the 
description, the measurements, and Rachel's Rachel Tessman, a link to her video where I saw it. It was a YouTube video. Um, like I said, it wasn't an original idea, but the thing about uh, creative people, Stampin' Up! demonstrators, is when we share stuff online, we love for people to try it out. So I tried it out and I loved it. I will say on this one, I did have a couple of little errors and you saw I already had to readjust the folding on that, but you can't tell because I've got paper in there. All right, thank you for all the hugs and hearts and thumbs up. And you can also um, check out my uh, website for class information. I do have two uh, stamp camps to go coming up, the fall one and a Christmas extravaganza. And they will both be a lot of fun. So thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, Marianne Cowan, and we will see you Sunday. Have a great weekend, everyone.